Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind design and luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. I'm so sure something cool is going to happen there, so look forward to that. So, for today's video, I fully realized I had not done a bag collection video in over a year. Wait, over two years? I don't know. In a while. So I thought I would refresh that. I'll link the first one I did just so you can see how much I've grown and how much I really like turned into like a new person. What? It's in here. Oh, I'm lactose intolerant. This is just like an overview kind of video. I'm gonna show you some bags, give you a couple of thoughts, but like I'll link all of the bag reviews <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Oh, you're down there. Um, there's a lot. But I kind of figured we would go from like, I don't know, maybe top to bottom. I don't know, maybe we'll go clockwise. I don't know. Let's, let's go on this journey together and see where it takes us because the world is limitless and we are the masters of our own journeys. So let's start. <laughs> That's not how it is. How it is. There's, there's a, a shadow. shadow. Organization, organization ruling, ruling all, of, all us, of us, controlling, controlling our minds. minds. <laughs> That'd be crazy if I actually thought that. Okay, to start, I thought I would talk about my little Telfies in small. I have so many colors of them. If I am being 100% honest, I don't wear these as much as I used to. I don't go out in the same way that I used to when I was two years older, <laughs> younger, or whatever. I don't know, maybe this is inspiring me to wear them more because they're super comfy. Um, and they hold a lot for their size. I love having like all these different color options to add like a pop of color because like a lot of the times my outfits aren't like super exciting, but yeah. I look forward to wearing these again. I don't know why I did that. I forgot where all of them go. <laughs> I guess we are going top to bottom. Next up on the list is all of my Loewe heel pouches, which I don't know why I have so many. I do love them and I do like wearing them on uh, particular occasions. But like two of them are, this is like, I don't know, the normal one. <laughs> and then this is the small, maybe this is large and then that's small and then this is medium. But this is more of like, honestly, it's more like a necklace because it's like super tiny, but they all have like the same kind of form. So these aren't one of my favorite bag shapes from Loewe. I don't even know if they make them anymore. But I do, what my favorite thing about them is like the like suction kind of feel they have because of the way that they're like molded into the shape. Like, oh, what? Oh, I, hate oh, you so much. I don't know. It just kind of reminds me of like one of those like pouches that you see like maybe like an Asian grandmother wearing with like her like poker visor and she has like a little pouch around her neck and she's like. Okay. I guess the next thing I'm gonna talk about is the Telfar pill that I have. I think this is a size medium. Uh, if we're being 100% honest, I literally never wear this because it's so uncomfortable. The design is fantastic. And I do think like if I was gonna go on like a little hikey adventure where I needed something like this to attach to a bag or something like that, I would because you can detach it from like the lanyard. And it's great because it's waterproof, but like, the utility is built in, but it's just not there for me. And I think that's what like makes this bag suffer. But I still like, I still think it's a really cute design. I think I'm gonna continue in a way that's like below pre <laughs> premium, like below luxury. I'm a sucker. I fell for the whole crescent bag from Uniqlo trend thing. Except I got mine in Asia and mine has soot sprays from Studio Ghibli on it which I'm sure was available like everywhere. But like, I love it. It's like a little rainbow bag and it's super casual. Like I could have gotten it in black and been like, you know, oh, it fits my style or whatever. But I'm like, if I'm gonna wear something sporty and casual, I might as well make it super casual and at least a little fun. Do you guys wanna see a review of this? Everyone's done a review of this, but I don't know, maybe I might as well because I love Ghibli and I assume that a lot of you guys love Ghibli too. But yeah, no, I love this. I actually. I wear this a lot because I don't care if I mess it up. All right, the next on my list, I have this published by Bucket Bag. Check out the review. I tell my full story of how I got this 
on sale after it was like just dropped. I think there's a glitch on like the website that I bought it from. But um, yeah, I, I know I've made so many jokes before about like, I love like an uncomfortable piece or like a difficult piece to wear because it like makes it more interesting for me. This is one of those instances, I do not wear this. It is cool and I get like a lot of compliments on it whenever I wear it, but it's just like the long crossbody strap is not super comfortable. Also, another thing that I <laughs> don't like, I feel like I'm just like shitting on this bag, but like there's like these rivets on the inside. I'm like, why would you put rivets in a bag? There's a lining, but the rivets go through the lining. I'm like, what? I do think it's cool because it's like you're carrying like a pitcher of water or something like that. And I'm a water sign, so I know Aquarius is the one that actually does that. I do think it's like great for a look, like future antiquity, Greco-Roman, Y3K, this would be great for that look. And you can put a bottle of water in it and you unscrew the top and then you pour it out and pretend like you have just water in here. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There you go. There's your Halloween costume for 2014. Nope. I forgot what year it was. Is. I think what I'm doing is going in like order of like favorites or like how I see is important. So we'll just see how it all shakes out. Oh, <laughs> on my Vestair, I actually have this one up for sale because I literally do not wear it anymore. But it's my little Balenciaga extra small hourglass. I loved it when it first came out, but it just doesn't hit the same. Now that I have my like Loa Bay, spoiler alert, Loa Bay mini puzzle with the LEDs, that's like the small black back that I go for, especially cause like it gives the same energy except in a more like flashy way. The material also bothers me. It's like this very like, like it is a leather bag, but then there's this like glitter material they put on the outside of it that makes it just like a scoonch too itchy, not itchy, like a scoonch too like scratchy for me to want to carry it. It feels like a little bit like, like a buffing board for your nails. That being said, that would be hilarious if someone was like rich enough and bought one of these every time they wanted to like buff their nails. And they're like, I'm done. Okay, next up in my collection are my large Telfars. These are perfect beach bags because they're like plastic on the outside. Yeah, they're lined, but it makes it feel a little bit more sturdy, which makes it feel nicer for the beach. Um, I did bring this one to the beach with towels and I put like some snacks in there and birds got into it. Freaking seagulls got in and chewed up the chips. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna let you have them. So I took them and I just threw them in the trash can. I know those birds were so angry, but you know what? They deserved it. But yeah, this one's good. I use this one for travel. Talking about traveling, here's this old antique piece of, wait, it's not old, it's from 2020. But it was from, I don't know, Alessandro Michele like chose some like weird basic bags from like the archives from the 70s. I think it, it also came in like yellow, green, and red. There's like insane like colors and then in black and I was like obsessed with the black one. I actually did bring this when I went to the Philippines or something like that. This is, I love this as a travel bag though, because it's backpack, it's sling, I can attach the straps together and make it more of like a crossbody, kind of like a gym bag kind of duffel. And it fits a decent amount and it fits under your seat on a plane. So, I don't know, I like it. It's not really available anymore, although I'm sure you can find it on Vistar if you look up like, I don't know, Gucci backpack. What next? Next up, I want to talk about this bag. This is the Jacques Moon Nike blah 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 thing. They just came out with like the second run of these bags in like white, red, and dark blue, but it looks like black. I can't tell. Or maybe it's black, but it looks like dark blue in some pictures, or maybe they like messed up and meant to have four of them. Also, if you notice on that website, they had like an additional color of some other stuff and it totally didn't make the cut or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, uh, this is a bag that I reviewed very poorly because it literally does not fit anything. <laughs> I do still use it because I love that I can put all my charms on it. And I think it's so funny to have this like very sensual, very like, you know, elegant, sporty kind of bag. And it's like, look at all my things. <laughs> and then next up, I want to talk about my OG, the Givenchy Pandora in the like washed, abused leather. Oh wait, the abuse is from me because I literally would toss this bag everywhere. But it really can handle it and I do love this bag. I actually used it recently when I went to like, like I went to a punk show and I was like, oh, I'm gonna fit in. 
But also, like, punk spaces are notoriously, like, open-minded and welcoming, so it doesn't matter, so, you know. Yeah, it's my day one. This is my first luxury bag. It still is super... It's probably one of my most comfortable crossbody slash shoulder, whatever, big, long strap bags to have and it can hold so much. This is actually inspiring me to use this again, especially when it starts getting a little bit colder and I can wear my like flannels and my jeans and my Doc Martens. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm gonna talk about this one separately. So this is my Loewe mini puzzle with Otori-sama in marketry on it. I love this bag shape. I think I literally just did like an update video about this. I love the marketry. I think it's beautiful and I think it's so interesting that they also did like printing on that. I just, it's a white leather bag. I'm afraid to use it a little bit um, because I'm so rough with my bags. I love the green as the bottom. I think it's super cute. Oh, Brad. Wait, on the map. All right, next up I want to talk about this bad boy. This is my Balenciaga arena tote bag. It's the one that's like made to look like an Ikea bag, which I think is so hilarious. Yeah, I don't know. I bought it kind of as a joke and I ended up using it as a travel bag a lot because it's super easy to carry. You can fit so much and it still fits under the seat in front of you on an airplane, even if you're flying economy, because guess what? That is how I fly because business class tickets are crazy. I've actually used this as a beach bag as well because I'm like, whatever, it's like a crinkled patent leather. What, what are you going to do to it? And it's fine. I do love that improvement over Ikea bags. Wow! There's a zipper. That's what also why I feel so comfortable using it as a, a travel bag. I like got it for I think like half off. Like I think it was like $2,000 when it first came out and I got it for like a thousand or something like that. Something crazy. And I was like, <laughs> suckers. I don't think it was even used. I don't know. I guess that's what happens when like a viral bag is viral for the wrong reasons. Then you can profit off of it, so. Thanks, whoever. All right, next up we have the Telfar collab backpack with Beast Pack. I love this bag. Is that candy? I thought I I bring this bag a lot. I actually like bring it when I have like little day trips out to like hike or something like that, just because I'm like, it's comfortable and I can wear it multiple ways and there's a zipper and it's nylon. Like what more could you ask? And it's like a rectangular backpack. That's so funny. Cause every time you think of like a backpack, I think of Jansport or East Packs where they have that like kind of lump shape, but there's a rectangle. Beautiful. Who would want more? Not me. Oh, it's just a wrapper. This is getting challenging now. Oh, I should have done this one before, but you're seeing it in real time. You're seeing my mind at work, which is not doing anything. Oh, this is my Moschino fake out McDonald's Happy Meal bag. I love it. Any bag that's leather and then has a little bit of plastic on it for comedic effect, I love. And you know what's funny? I got this bag secondhand. It used to smell like some weird perfume that like whatever little girl owned it before <laughs> And it doesn't smell like that anymore. It's a little dusty. I don't use it so much because, I don't know, I should. It's hilarious. I've put a happy, an actual Happy Meal in here for a gag on either TikTok or for this channel or whatever. Chain's super worn down, but like Moschino is like, not like a heritage level necessarily, so. Then I got it for really cheap, so that's what matters. Okay. <laughs> The next bag I want to talk about is a different hourglass bag, but this hourglass bag, I still love it. But no, this one's really important to me. It's a limited edition and it was like Alessandro Michele. It's so funny. I went into a Gucci store when I was in Barcelona like a couple years ago, but I guess I wasn't wearing any like luxury on me. And like the lady was like, oh yeah, you know, like, Alessandro Michele is leaving the house, so you should get something before he's gone, or like now that he's gone or whatever. And like, I didn't have the heart to tell her, I'd be like, oh, I got like what I consider a grail, you know, for me. Like, and I had a big one, which I think I like better than the small. Now that I've like had, I'm pointing at the one that I'm selling. I actually wear this one now. I cooled it down a little bit because I was like, all right, this like logo mania kind of thing, whatever but I don't care anymore. And I like wearing it because I like the bag. It's a very important bag to me and I think it's cool and I don't care what anyone says about it. Oh my God, I am kind of ranking them. All right, so the next bag I want to talk about is the, my Chanel Hula Hoop. 
This is like the medium size. I haven't used this bag much because like it has the like lamb skin and it's like super soft and supple and delicious. I'm I've resolved to at least wearing it once and I wore it to a different country. Wow. So I'm very proud of that. And I discovered that it's actually a pretty good bag to carry around. It got a decent amount of looks as well, but no one like said anything because like where I was, like everyone there was pretentious and I'm like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, it's like held up pretty well for being like a bag from 2004. Okay, next up, I want to talk about this guy. Oh, there's stuff in it. Small Webe puzzle bag from the first Ghibli collab, where it was My Neighbor Totoro. Please go watch that review, because I loved talking about it, and I am like trying so hard not to say all the exact same things that I said before, because I love this bag, and I love this charm that I have on it. I don't use it as much as I used to. I think my style has shifted a little bit away from like using so many browns, but I think it also is just the season. I don't know, somewhere that I go for like lighter colors or black for some reason. I love it, it's comfy. Um, and I love marquetry because I think it's cool. And I love Studio Ghibli because I think it's cool. And um... Um, next up, I want to talk about this bag. I've been using this bag so much recently. It's my mini Loewe puzzle with LED lights <laughs> for a little treat. Ooh, 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 ooh. Does this even show up on camera? Can you guys even see it? I love that it's just literally, it looks like a regular mini puzzle. And then it has a light switch and a freaking battery pack that has a Loewe logo on it. I mean, obviously that first, but this also cemented Loewe as like my favorite brand, a brand that doesn't take themselves too super duper seriously. You know, their craft work and their artisanship and stuff is like really impressive but also like being able to have humor in pieces. Bonk, bonk. I think this might actually be my most used bag, which is really funny that it's so small, but hey, you know, hey, you know. Next up, I want to talk about this is such, I literally never wear this bag. I wear it like if I have like something formal to go to, this is like my like clutch or whatever. Uh, which is funny because half the time I actually wear it on my shoulders because that's what it is. This is a convertible bag that you can hold as a clutch and you can hold it, put it on your shoulders or whatever. Watch the review. I, I try it on all the different ways. But I love this bag because it was a collaboration with Elizabeth Diller, my favorite architect. She's the architect who designed, along with like her partners from Diller Scafidio and Renfro, uh, the High Line. That one new, that one museum. No, hold on. Come on, brain. The High Line, hold on. The Shed on the High Line. <laughs> oh my God, hold on. What's that one like performing art school in New York that has ballet and stuff like that? That one, I don't know. I've literally, living here, I've forgotten so much about the United States. But... All right. <laughs> All right, and let me talk about this baby for a hot second. This is from the last collaboration that Loewe did with Ghibli for the movie Howl's Moving Castle. I just recently watched The Boy and the Heron. I think that's also in the top running for being one of my favorite films, but Howl's Moving Castle for sure is one of my favorite films. I have like tattoos of it, but it's, come on, look at the craftsmanship. It's crazy having like all of this amount of detail. And it has that little like suction thing that the heel bags do, like if we like, Think back to, I don't know, maybe like a couple minutes ago. This is a grail for me. Honestly, the backpack is a grail, but like that's ridiculous and I'm never gonna have like that much money to spend on the bag. Also, I think they only made like three or something, or maybe like, I don't know, 10, whatever. You wanna know what's in it? No. Cause there's nothing in it, there's just a strap. And then lastly, I wanna show you one of my newest acquisitions. It's the Birkin Himalaya. So you can see this beautiful crocodile. <laughs> um, this is a bag from, what is it called? Grocery bags? Yeah, <laughs> just the grocery bags. And it says, groceries cost as much as this bag, which is about right, yeah. But I use this for groceries and I think it's hilarious. And I love carrying this like fake looking Birkin because there's just comedy in it for me. 
But that's it. That is my handbag collection. I, for some reason, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Okay. Okay. Just need to get back into the headspace. A new day, because I forgot to film this. I can just edit this, edit this out. No, you know what? I'm gonna keep this in. I'm honest. I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have a ton of uh, medium Telfar shopping bags. Is that the name of them? Shopping tote? If you look at any of the reviews I've talked about, I've done like multiple update videos as well. This bag is like a workhorse. It's my daily driver. I've never had in particular an issue with them looking too ratty, despite this being like four years old. It's a little ratty, but you know, it's worth it. They age super well, and I love them. I personally couldn't ask for a better work bag because every time I'm like, okay, I'm gonna bring in lunch, I'm gonna bring something else in, I'm like, oh, do I need to get a bigger bag? No, everything, it always fits, super comfy. And I just love the little community that exists around it. And I still see like more and more people wearing them around Europe, and it makes me very happy. So this, is a cool one. I don't know, what am I talking? Let me know if you like any of my bags. Let me know if you think my bags are stupid because if you do, then we agree. Most of them are dumb. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind designer luxury. I'm sorry.